sort of a, a timeline, really, of um, my time here. It will soon be the end of an era at Middlesbrough, and a hugely productive one at that. I'm proud of what we've achieved as a, as a group, um, as a group of staff. I am quite happy to retire, but the reasons for it is uh, very personal, and uh, I want to just spend more time with my family. And I think after nearly 20 years in the job, I think um, they deserve a bit more of me. Middlesbrough owner Steve Gibson appointed the former PE teacher to run the academy when it was opened in 1998. And fittingly, Gibson's nephew is the latest student to come through the system and become a Premier League star. He's like a father to every player that comes through. He, he's unbelievable, to be honest. His professionalism, his, his work ethic, his drive to, to have done it for this long, to, to have made this many professional footballs, not just at Middlesbrough, but all around the different leagues in the country. Lee Catamol, Chris Brunt and James Morrison are three graduates who are still playing top-flight football but at other clubs, whilst another returned home in 2015. Stuart, Stuart joined us very early, same as Ben. Um, good Middlesbrough lad, Pally Park lad. Um, but he's, he's technically, I'll use the word technically gifted as anybody we've ever worked with. Wonderful mover over the ground. We're still second in the league as far as minutes on the pitch with... Premier League homegrown academy players, and that's down to Ben and Stewart down and in the first team. And lots of those boys behind us, you know, they, they were given opportunities at the most unexpected times. Um, but all of them um, swam rather than sank, and hopefully we've got a few more coming through in the future. Middlesbrough's excellent youth development work will go on under Craig Liddle, although Dave Parnaby will be a hard act to follow. Rob Scanlon for Premier League News.